Tonight, President Biden will highlight his accomplishments and lay out his vision for the future in his State of the Union address. In attendance this evening, several guests from Ohio who may be part of tonight's narrative. Here's Carmen Blackwell with more. Seated in the viewing box for President Joe Biden's State of the Union address today are Ohioans invited by First Lady Jill Biden to reflect on major issues within our nation's communities. On the president's guest list, former Buckeyes football player Harry Miller, an offensive lineman who retired from football last year after sharing his personal battle with mental health. I hope at the very least and at the same time I think this would be at the very most it would be buying a person who needs time some more time. Miller's seat at this year's State of the Union address highlights the nation's mental health crisis. Now an advocate for mental health awareness, Miller has partnered with Sondermind, a company that connects people to therapy. It means everything to me really because I want to keep my name, my son's name out there. I don't want him to ever be forgotten. Also in attendance, Pamela Walker, the mother of Jalen Walker, a young black man shot and killed by Akron police last summer. Pamela and Jalen's sister Jada will attend that speech as Congresswoman Amelia Strong Sykes guests. How many times do we have to go through this kind of misery? You know, it doesn't make any sense. Every black man should be able to grow old. Well, the White House also invited Saria Gwyn May. That's a Cincinnati iron worker. She's a member of the Iron Workers Local 44 group and will work on the Brent Spence Bridge Project as a result of the bipartisan infrastructure law. Russ? Okay, Carmen Blackwell, thank you so much. And you can see live NBC News coverage of the President's State of the Union address, along with analysis right here on Channel 3, beginning at 9 o'clock. Lester Holt and Savannah Guthrie will anchor this special coverage.